he'll take this part of the plant, and that's eventually what becomes the CBD. It is, yep, yep. At MedFarm, Colorado's first licensed cannabis research facility, CEO Albert Gutierrez walked us through how CBD is extracted from a cannabis plant to oil. First, it goes through a CO2 extractor and is further separated with ethanol. We're going to separate the waxes and fats that we don't want in the product from the cannabinoids that we do want, the CBD smell. Then the ethanol is separated in what's called a rotary evaporator. That's usually about 75 to 80 percent cannabinoid content. So what does this machine do? So this is a white film evaporator. We're loading that cannabinoid content that we just got out of the rotary evaporator into here. And we're going to let that content seep down into this jacket right here. So you're looking at CBD testing in that 90 to 99 percent purity. And we'll test it right after this. Um, but that's going to be very high quality products. And we call it that the bunny jar. And does this have THC in it? Uh, it might have a little bit as well. It yes. might. Yep. Okay. We'll test it just to see what levels it's at. Can you extract it more from here? Absolutely. Okay. For chromatography, we can extract it and make it isolated to be the, what we need for uh, CBD, just CBD. Gutierrez says his team performs a series of tests to know what they're making. This right, is right. just an oil. This is just a base okay. that we can make into whatever we need to make out of it. What types of things could you make You can this? make creams, you can make tinctures, you can make pills. CBD can also be crystallized. This is the crystallized form or the powder form of that. No THC in here, strictly CBD. It's testing at 99.9% .9 purity. Then put into a product and shipped out to consumers, buying into the CBD trend. For today, Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Denver.